Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and this is the Viomi Smart Cat which we just unboxed a couple of weeks ago alongside two other Viomi products and I've been using this for about three weeks and it has been a really good Smart Cat that I enjoy a lot. So here's the full review. Now, since this is called a smart cattle, you can really assume what you can do with this, and that is to control the cattle via an app. Now, most conventional cattles like this do not have app control, and basically you just connect the power cord, you turn on the power, and it boils, and that's pretty much about it. But this smart cattle does a little bit more. And let me just quickly show you the app on how it works. The Valmi Smart Cattle can be configured using the Mi Home app, which I have right here on screen recording. As you can see, I've already added the Smart Cattle into my Mi Home app, so let's just head on over to it. So pairing is no big deal here because it doesn't use a Wi-Fi connection, and once you turn on the power, it automatically turns on Bluetooth LE, which is really, really straightforward. So this is what you're seeing right here. It shows the current temperature that is inside the Smart Cattle. I've already filled it in water, so it's 26 degrees Celsius. So you can actually choose the preset on what you want to make, whether you want to make coffee, white tea, or uh, baby rice flour. So it will uh, automatically set the water temperature depending on what you want to make, which is actually really, really cool. So you can even like uh, set the water temperature manually if you want. So the maximum water temperature that you can set is to 90 degrees Celsius, but Technically, this could go up to 100 degrees Celsius. That is the boiling point, right? Now, you can also set the keep warm time. So just in case if you want to, to keep the water warm inside after a couple of hours, you can actually configure how long you want the temperature to maintain so that it doesn't drop when you want to refill your coffee or tea whenever you want to do it, right? So right over here on the smart kettle here, so you can't actually press the boil on the app right over here. You actually have two buttons on the kettle here, which has the boil label and the warm label. So once you have set whatever you want right on the app, you, all you can do is to press the boil button. So next we are gonna find out how long does it take to boil from 26 degrees Celsius up to 100 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's get the timer starter and press boil. In three, two, one, go. Now, as you can see, the Viomi Smart Kettle uses 3 minutes and 43 seconds to fully boil 1.5 liters of water, which is, to be honest, is really, really fast for a 1,800 watt Smart Kettle. So, you can actually get your drinks done in a pretty fast way, and it's way faster than any uh, water pot out there. So, this is why I'm actually loving this when I want to make a cup of coffee or tea using the Viomi Smart Kettle. Now, since the Viami Smart Cattle depends totally on the base for power, once you pick it out, it will get disconnected from your phone and also you will not be able to see the temperature inside the Smart Cattle, which is kind of a shame because I thought Viami would have included like a small battery, like a button battery uh, in order to show the LCD display here so that I can know what is the temperature right inside the Smart Cattle. And in order to do that, I will need to place it back onto the base right over here. And if I want to keep it warm, I'll need to press on the warm button. Otherwise, you can turn on the extended warm-up function to automatically go up to its intended temperature once you put it back on the base every time. And that's very, very convenient. So that's all for my review of the Viami Smart Kettle. This is a really great home appliance that I appreciate a lot. So let me know your thoughts or if you have any questions in the comments down below. And be sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos coming right up. And I'll see you in the next one.